Hey guys, what's good? I'm Andre and today I want to talk to you about the overall stock market and kind of the, the throthiness that we're seeing right now. Before we jump into that, I'm going to plant one tree for every 20 likes this video gets. Help me out and we're going to help the planet out as well, guys. The market is definitely extending right now. If you look on the daily, it's pretty clear. If you look on the weekly, it's even more clear. The S&P, the Dow Jones, the Nasdaq, you name it, they're all pretty high the valuations are pretty intense and obviously what do we do in these types of scenarios do we short the market honestly i would probably not short the market right now guys it's really unclear where it's gonna go what i would probably do is just and what i'm actually doing is just looking for stocks that are at all-time high valuations pretty crazy uh, track back for the last couple of weeks like nvidia like ticker symbol net for cloudflare like digital ocean and just try to short those how exactly do i short them well i sell credit spreads for uh let's say uh digital ocean i just sold uh 150 155 credit spread these are options guys they help you massively when it comes down to just being able to um successfully hedge against market corrections in this case i'm just picking out stocks that are within nasdaq that i really feel like will eventually correct and this way i don't have to fully bet against the nasdaq because i can see that it has has quite a good resilience about it yeah i do believe it's overextended if you look at the weekly it's just absolutely insane the type of extension that you can see on the nasdaq ever since covid last year basically it's been on a complete tear that being said as i was telling you we can just scope out these stocks that are at just insane valuations let's look at for instance nvidia nvidia grew 125 percent this year guys and if we look at the last six months it grew 110 percent sure that may be sustainable but with roughly 40 percent in the last month here i think it will eventually hit the wall it might not hit the wall that i set for it right now which is a spread for 335 340 but it will eventually hit one so if i even have to roll this one out in expiration and higher up in strike price i will do that but again i feel like this is a very good way to hedge against the nasdaq market potentially correcting while not really going against the grain fully but just making some sort of educated decisions on select stocks that have run too high that are too hot at the moment overbought definitely overbought on the rsi massively so and then pending a correction and this is actually what i recommend that you guys do as well as a technique to um, be able to protect your portfolio a bit for any more severe correction another stock again as i was telling you that i'm doing this on is cloudflare ticker symbol net right now it's trading at 212 dollars a share and if we look at net on seeking alpha we can see that it has a growth of 230 percent this year guys that's definitely not anything that can be expected out of a stock it grew 185 percent during the last six months and the whooping 23 percent during the last month here so again it's a very similar situation i think it will eventually hit the wall maybe not the wall that i set up at 235 240 so unless it hits 235 dollars by december 23 i basically make 130 dollars with uh, a collateral here of five dollars for the spread so basically five hundred dollars for anybody that's not used to to trading options so yeah guys that's what i do to be able to hedge against the potential market correction right now i'm not saying that every stock in the nasdaq is overpriced there are definite really good prices out there pinterest is one of the stocks that i loaded up on and pltr is definitely another one that's in the nasdaq that i really have extremely high hopes for it's as oversold as pltr usually gets it's not the type of stock that goes oversold frequently and at 22 dollars and change i really think that the value for pltr is fantastic i think it's gonna be easily a 35 dollar stock within the next 6 to 12 months here so that's another one for you guys to have a look at in terms of just being able to prepare for an eventual more important rise in inflation guys what i would like to recommend is that you look into credit card and bank stocks 
the thing is that credit cards and banks usually benefit from inflation worries and inflation itself because of interest rates high so with that in mind guys uh, visa is sitting at a pretty great price below the 300 day moving average on the daily chart and right next to the 100 day moving average on the weekly chart which is also a pretty important sign and then citibank is also one that i continue averaging into i think that citibank is right now sitting at a pretty fantastic price point if we have a look at the valuation that t pranks is giving city we have roughly a 85 dollar price point for a potential upside here that would mean roughly a 26 percent upside from where we're at i think that citibank is probably one of the greater ones that you can invest in right now and the very last stock that i want to bring up today guys is the one that i covered in one of my recent shorts intel please go back and have a look at my explanation on why the intrinsic value of intel is far above the current price at which it's trading actually 50 percent discounted so guys have a look at that video again guys that's all for today hopefully this video has been helpful if so please give it a thumbs up we're also gonna plant them trees and i'm gonna catch you guys next time have a fantastic day